painting I've ever done um, in a live setting, and even a lot of paintings I do when I'm just by myself, there is no real agenda in the beginning. Sometimes one forms, like a message begins to take place. Other times it just takes a life in its, of its own and uses me as a vessel to let itself out. The title of the painting is A Lot Can Happen in 20 Minutes. You know, that painting was done in give or take 20 minutes, that in less than 20 minutes everything is different. And with this painting, this is my first V painting I've ever done, you know, and there's a certain pressure and because you're being filmed, you can't hesitate, you know. So in that 20 minutes, it was pure focus. Um, and for me, that was a really nice experience. I let things fall where they may. I let drips happen, smudges happen, whether it be on the canvas, on the floor, even on the wall. And, you know, a, a friend of mine, you know, said that that studio in itself is art. And I think it is, you know, it really is a true testament to me as a person. It's messy, it's sloppy, but ultimately I think it's beautiful. When I was spray painting some stuff, I oversprayed and we had some dripping going. And I tried to save it, but then just figured, fuck it, I'm just gonna smear it and go with it. Um, you know, like I said earlier, they're the ups and downs of a painting. And that was one of the downs, which ultimately became something I liked better. It became this dramatic splurting effect. And the thing is, my whole philosophy that um, really helped me with painting, that removed a lot of the anxiety I used to feel, was that there are no mistakes, only things I like and things I don't like. And if there's something I don't like, I only need to work on it till I like it again. You never have to accept things you don't like in painting. There are some times where there's some lines you can't take back, you know, a small line in the eye that sets this expression, this mood that's so subtle but powerful. And if you paint over that, you can't really recreate it. Sometimes you never get something you like as much, but you let it go. Other times you get something you like even better. 